Hello, welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. After this, we will be halfway through. I cannot believe it. So we're gonna continue working on the Christmas market that we started yesterday. So I'm having a couple of dilemmas. So the first one is um, this design that I got. It came in a set of three and it was like this one, this one, and another one that was similar to this that was just red. But um, it gets cut off on the street lamps. So I don't know if I want to keep that because like the C and the S in Christmas get cut off. Then there's this design which takes up three spaces which isn't ideal because one it takes up three spaces and two you can't center it um, on the ground with like the inclines uh, like I wouldn't be able to center it here either or here um, and I put it on simple panels here but you can see that like Oh, well, you can't see. Okay, well, <laughs> you can see that the bottom kind of gets covered up. And um, if you are down here, like you can't see market at all. So that's the dilemma with that one and that one. And then this is the design that goes with the first Christmas market one I showed. Um, and I like that, but... I wish the green of the street lamp matched the green of the marketplace banner better. So that's the first dilemma is which signage to use. Secondly, annoyingly, I think that the covered counters look nicer in front of the simple panels than the stalls, which is kind of annoying because it's a lot easier to make stalls than it is to order a bunch of covered counters. Um, I have a couple like in my pockets, but so I don't know if I should do all covered counters, at least right here. And I could like switch it up and do like covered counters for like the baked goods and you know, different vibes for like different things. Like I have these two I could do for some, actually that's cute. And you can kind of see more of the shelves behind there with those. Hmm. What other colors does the counter table come in? I don't think this is all of them but I do think it's most of them. Red could be cute. Hmm. Let's order some of these. The other thing is I'm basically just gonna do as much as I can today, but one, I've already ordered five things and I can't time travel forward to tomorrow because, um, or I can't time travel past tomorrow because Charlize has to move out. So tomorrow we're gonna to be hunting for Gabby again, but I don't really want to have to go to tomorrow yet. So I'm basically just gonna do what I can with what I have. So what I do have in my pockets is a bunch of tables and chairs for this kind of area. Oh, I want some menu boards too. I kind of like the way these look the best. I think I prefer to have one of these for each, but I pulled out a couple. I kind of like them all to be the same kind of sign. So yeah, I just think these little A-frame signs are definitely the best. And this one is burgers and fries. So we can go ahead and put this in front here and we will order as soon as we can, we'll order one for the ramen and one for coffee. And then I'm also gonna have a little street lamp with banners, which I've also ordered, I won't be able to get it for right now. So I can put the little hanging Brewster sign on it. So for tables and chairs, we obviously still want to be able to get by. And then maybe have like a big table over here. I'm just popping them anywhere I see them and we'll pick up any ones that don't you know, ultimately contribute to the vibe. <laughs> Dang, I need more chairs. Okay, so now let's get some stuff to put on these tables. I know we have some like noodle bowls for sure. I feel like I had, what's it called? Like New Year's noodles? I feel almost certain I had like multiple bowls of those. What are those? I think it'd be with food, but I guess it's possible it's with like the holiday stuff. Where are my noodles? I'm 
my god, that looks so good. Oh, hmm. What should we put on that one? <laughs> the tiniest little coffee, but it is perfect. Okay, we need like a hamburger -y food. If they sell hamburgers and chips, they probably sell fish and chips, right? Hmm, that also looks really good. <laughs> Let's, let's call Jay and see if they have um, New Year's noodles. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I put pathing in here too. So I made the little road kind of go all the way around the big square just to each of the um, inclines. Okay, got the goods. Which one of these is noodles? <laughs> mm. Looks so good, okay. I like that. I'm excited about getting the little menu boards and have those all be kind of similar but different as well. Wait, I have more space between me here than here. Can't be having that. Beautiful. Okay. So I pulled out a bunch of other stuff that I thought might be useful. Okay. So I don't know if I want every stall to be different or like every two stalls or what, but I pulled out some stuff. So I'm just going to start throwing stuff down and then we can kind of like, you know, adjust from there. So I definitely want to have like a pottery. It's kind of big to be on there. And if we have because I feel like if we have a lot of something, you know, we could it could take up two stalls. And maybe like some homemade candles over here. And we'll have stuff in front too, so don't don't judge too harshly yet. <laughs> so we can get like some different levels and stuff. It's gonna be kind of difficult to do this without really being able to see. <laughs> we could have some another stall up here, like in the food type of area that has stuff like I don't know, not like ready to eat food, but like ingredients type of thing, like the cheese or maybe like loaves of bread, perhaps. I'm gonna leave that up there till we can flesh that out a little bit more. So we got some plants, some pottery, some candles, books, a globe. What else would go with a globe? Some instruments. Oh, we have a red one in our storage. That's handy. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Don't you think? I do like the wood paneling because it just makes it look more, you know, kind of rustic, but that's nice too. One of the things I definitely want to use, I know this is like an old like 1.0 trick, but these designs are just stunning. So these are hats made to look like cakes, obviously. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So I wanted to use some of those too, to have like, you know, a cake section. Let's put that, <laughs> put that cheese down somewhere. And since obviously they look better, you know, like head on than sideways, maybe we could do more food like along the back wall, even though there isn't as much space. And we could do more seating here with this kind of stuff too. That could be good, except I'm gonna, I should have seen, I should have looked to see if Jay has more iron because I um, am almost out. <laughs> and if I'm gonna make more of those chairs, I'm going to need some more. That might be too big for there. Okay, I got some stuff to like put stuff <laughs> on top of. Um, so we can do a little bit of layering. I feel like this probably takes up a little bit too much room, even though it's like one of the best items introduced in 2.0. I kind of want a record box for right here which I don't have any in my storage, but I'm almost certain Jade does. So I'll wait until I grab one of those. Dang it, I didn't even get what I 
came in here for. I got distracted. Okay, let me put some of this stuff down. There's something else I, oh, just remembered. <laughs> Diver room, yes, one spot. I feel like we could maybe do, do two for pottery, but do it like that. So that we can put something else here. I feel like this can just be like a little booth of like, I don't know, kind of like world travelery stuff, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I feel like I have enough for two spaces with this. And that can, I think that's okay to kind of leak over into the books one. Seems like it'd be the same person working, <laughs> working both, you know? Okay, so that's, that's kind of the, that's what I'm thinking, you know? What do we think? Um, I don't know what other musical stuff I could have. I really like this one, and none of the other ones are giving me the same vibe. So, how do I fix that? Let's see what other pottery stuff we can find. <laughs> this could look like a cool <laughs> kind of sculpture sort of thing. So that kind of looks like the owl is a sculpture as well. And there's like another little plate under there too. So I don't know, is that working? <laughs> and then we can put this other pot. Let's just put it on there from back here. I think I pulled out um, <laughs> too many stools. <laughs> I pulled out way more stools than I need. I think I basically have all stuff to put things on, but not really stuff to put on things. <laughs> Not really liking the outdoor table. I think that's the problem. Or outdoor bench. What other options do we have? I don't know that I like that anymore, but <laughs> we'll keep it for now. I have a bamboo drum I can put here. And hmm, <laughs> I didn't really anticipate running out of things to do. I thought I'd have too much. Okay, let's see what other themes of stuff we can rustle up. Oh, we could do toys, duh. Or just little weird things like this. <laughs> could have like a harvest one, although we could do that on like the second level with foods. Okay, we've got toys and bags and weird little, Zodiac figurines. The fact that they're all just like a little bit chunky and round. Mm, love that. Okay, I need two things to put stuff on. Okay, it's looking a little chunky, but we know that's how I like it. <laughs> I need one more instrument thing for maybe like one of a maybe a portable record player. Um, would be good there. And then uh, I pulled out bags. I just have one spot over there. Okay, I need one more. Oh, wait. Balloon. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that. We'll check in with that in a few minutes. Okay. Um, oh, wait. One more stool. Uh, I'm putting a red handbag on it. So maybe, maybe. Oof. <laughs> that lag. I think this looks so cute. And junky. Okay, let's see if we can get that balloon. Somewhere on the top level. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Love that. We get a portable record player out while I'm up here. Oof. 
the lag is is real. <laughs> what do we think? Oh wait. This is supposed to go here. Oh, it doesn't cover up too much. What do we think? I think that looks pretty good. It's very junky and very open here. But it's so busy everywhere else. I feel like that's okay. <laughs> Maybe there could be like a little table here with like shopping bags or something. Just to kind of put something there. Still no idea what I'm gonna do here. So let me know what you think about the sign predicament and what I should do there. Um, I think we're gonna leave it here for today. Um, Cause of course it's two o'clock in the morning and uh, tomorrow we'll be hunting for Gabby again. So fingers crossed, send some good energy my way for that. And um, I'll probably, probably doing a little bit on this build each day, basically probably for the rest of the time, because as you can see, it's massive. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been day 15 of Vlogmas, so there are 14 other episodes up now if you want to catch up. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. And if you want to keep up with me elsewhere on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Pocket of Fish. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.